Poštovanje, dragi moji, dobrodošli u emisiju. Naša današnja emisija bit će nešto drugačija u principu od onih koje vi gledate na MIM televiziji. Moj današnji gost je mnogo čemu drugačiji nego gosti koje sam ja do sada imao. Izove se Steve Stenger. Steve Stenger je ovogodišnji kandidat. Inače je, dakle, executive u Council za South County. Ove godine se natječe protiv County executive Charlie Dulia. Tako da ćemo danas pričati o njegovoj političkoj karijeri. Upoznat ćete ga. Pričat ćemo sa Steve-om i pričat ćete upoznat Steve-a. Izbori skoro da olaze. 5. august je pred nama. Tako da... Treba da znate za koga glasate. Steve, thank you very much for coming today. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. Welcome, welcome well, to the show. Uh, thank you. I just told uh, our uh, viewers that uh, I would love uh, to have you on the show today and maybe talk a little bit about your uh, previous political life and everything what you're doing because uh, August 5th is coming and sure. I think uh, we all need to know uh, who we voting for. Sure. So can you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you? Sure. My name is Steve Stanger and I'm running for St. Louis County Executive and I was first elected to the St. Louis County Council uh, in 2008 and that was my first term from 2008 to 2012. Then I ran for re-election again in 2012 and was re-elected uh, and I've been serving my second term since and I'm now running for county executive. So, uh, county executive right now is Mr. Charlie Dooley. That's correct. Uh, we all know that he's uh, on duty for about 10 years now. Yes. Uh, well, um, what is the reason why you're running against him and uh, you think uh, you might be able to do the better job or just tell us about that a little bit. I do. Um, you know, I first ran for county councilman because I wanted to make the place where I grew up a better place to live in for everyone who lives there sure. and uh, that's once again why I ran for re-election and I want to run for county executive for much the same thing, much the same reason and I think that what we've been lacking in St. Louis County for the last 10 years is engaged leadership and I think with engaged leadership we're going to find that we can move ourselves you know, for 2015 and beyond uh, into the right direction and I think that I can do that and I think that I have the uh, background, the educational background, the training that's necessary to do that. And I think that my background on the council really lends itself to, to do that. And, uh, you know, one of my chief priorities is going to be job growth and job creation for our region and for our county. Can you please tell us about uh, your background, uh, education, everything else? What is it? Sure, absolutely. Um, I grew up here in St. Louis. I grew up in uh, South St. Louis where many from the Bosnian community originate yes, from. Yes, uh, I grew yes. up right there in that area. And then, uh, of course, now I represent what is known as South County, uh, where we have uh, many, many Bosnians living. I've had the pleasure of representing uh, many in the Bosnian community now for, like we said, six years. So um, I grew up, uh, they call them, you know, that's Southsiders. So I grew up uh, Southside and uh, went to DeBerg for high school, Bishop DeBerg and then moved from Bishop DeBerg to uh, the University of Missouri-St. Louis where I did my undergraduate degree. Okay. And I did that in accounting, really business with an emphasis in accounting. And then I took the CPA exam, which is the Certified Public Accountant exam in the state of Missouri. And I passed that on the first try, first attempt, and then went to law school. And uh, went to law school for three years at St. Louis University and uh, graduated from St. Louis University and moved on to being a lawyer and an accountant for Ernst & Young, which is a large accounting firm. And there I studied state and local taxes. And uh, so I learned you know, how governments tax and, and, and what they do. Uh, learned a lot about accounting and learned an awful lot, you know, just about business consulting and business consultation in general. Right. I worked there for about three years. And then I moved on to uh, start my own law firm with uh, some partners. And now I'm with those partners and we have uh, four associates and associates are attorneys who work under the partners and so we've grown a business from a really small business to a to a larger small business and it's been a really great experience. So what is the, which part of the law you practice? We do at my firm all, all sorts of things and I particularly do litigation and I do uh, civil litigation and criminal litigation uh, all kinds of cases 
Okay. All right, uh, Steve, um, let's talk about the Bosnian community. Uh, I was uh, all around. I work on the radio and on TV, sure. and we are just all around, uh, basically just uh, following wherever what's going on in the Bosnian community. And I remember seeing you everywhere, from the Bosnian sure. festival to the opening sure. of the mosque, to the opening of the Sebi, to the opening That's of right. everything. So tell me about your experience with the Bosnians. Well, you know, I've been really proud, as I said, to represent the Bosnian community and really to represent the highest concentration of Bosnians in the county. And they, they live in St. Louis County, in South St. Louis County, and I've had so many opportunities to represent them. I've heard from many Bosnian families, I've met with many Bosnian families, uh, particularly around openings of community centers and mosques. Uh, all of which I've, of course, supported. And I've worked closely with uh, several imams in the area uh, to really get that sense of community and to involve myself deeply in the community and do anything, really, that I could and that I can do to help the Bosnian community. From what I have seen, uh, the Bosnian community and its members are really some of the very hardest working people that I have ever met in my life. <laughs> and you. there are so many inspirational stories that I have heard, you know, coming from, you know, war torn Bosnia, coming here to St. Louis, starting with absolutely nothing and working their way up to really, I mean, these are people that I see are entrepreneurs. There are people who work in the trades. There's people who send their children to Harvard. I mean, these are, you know, first generation and second generation Bosnians who come here. Yep. And it's it's wonderful to see that. And it has been one of the most profound experiences that I have had representing anyone, any people, uh, to see your community and where it came from and where it's going and to see these individual stories and these family stories of people, you know, building lives for themselves here in America. I mean it's it's touching and it is something, it's just something else to see the American dream come true for a whole people. It's really nice. What's it's, your background? Where are your family coming from? Um, I, uh, my mother was Italian. Uh, my father was German and Irish and all kinds of things. So we've, I, I've got one side of my family that we pretty much know where they came from. And uh, we've got another side of my family we kind of came from everywhere. So I'm a mixture of those. And, and my mom was... Uh, she passed away in 2011, but when I'm she was sorry. alive, oh, it's okay. When she, when she was alive, she's a wonderful woman. When she was alive, she's about five feet tall, and she looked like you know an Italian mother would. <laughs> and uh, she was a wonderful lady, and and you know her her family were were recent immigrants. Um, her mother and father were, I believe, second generation Italians, and uh, they really preserved a lot of that Italian heritage and that Italian ethnicity. Uh, you know, from the food, you know, and my favorite, the desserts, yes. uh, you know, yes, and, yes, and a lot of yes. traditions, you know, and occasionally they would say, you know, they would speak in Italian and they would say Italian phrases and it, it's just, it's really, you know, I see a lot of similarities in the Bosnian culture when you, you know, some of the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the same kinds of traditions, you know, the traditions of, of sitting down with family Can you and speak having dinner. Italian? Uh, I uh, nothing that I can repeat on TV, <laughs> but uh, yes, I can. <laughs> my my grandma liked to say certain phrases, so I picked up some of those. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, well, well, yes, Bosnian community is really uh, you know that, but I'm gonna repeat just for the sake of the people who just uh, maybe watched Meme TV first time. Uh, Saint Louis has a, the largest Bosnian community out of the Bosnian Herzegovina. It's about seventy thousand people. And it becomes stronger every day, and people still moving from somewhere, you know, St. Louis. And this is really important, you know, that um, we might have somebody mm -hmm. who's going to just look after us. And Steve, well, uh, yeah, th this is a plan, actually, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you something else. This is really interesting. I, uh, I've had a really unique opportunity um, down in the federal courts building as an attorney. Um, I have had the opportunity to speak and sing the national anthem at many of the immigration ceremonies that we have in the federal district courts. Yes. Yes. So and I've been able to see Bosnians coming into the country, 
from the first day and you know making their way and many of them are making their way into my district where I represent you know them as their county councilman. Uh, what what is it, Steve? Uh, what you think it should be changed? Uh, what Charlie Dool is doing right now? What should be better in the case uh, that you win this uh, competition? Yeah. Hopefully on August fifth. Sure. Well, you know, one of the most important things, and, I, and, and, and many of these things I'm taking care of as a county councilman right now, you know, we have developments in, in the county uh, where we see community centers and mosques yes. you know, going up. We have two in South County, one that's under construction and yes. one is currently there. Yes. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to be a part of both of those, okay. which has been fantastic. One of the things that is lacking now in the executive branch with the current county executive is real and full representation of Bosnians from the Bosnian community working in county government. And I would like to see more of that. And I would like to see Bosnians in high levels of St. Louis County government. And the types of things that I'm thinking about doing and what I want to do and what I will do is have Bosnians in my, in my cabinet. And what I mean by that is I want to have Bosnians who know issues that are going on in the Bosnian community and that are important in the Bosnian community, I want to have those individuals in my administration so I have a direct line to the Bosnian community. And it is so important to me because there are so many Bosnians in St. Louis County and they are such productive citizens and hardworking citizens. I want to do, as I've done as councilman, I want to do as county executive everything I can for those individuals to make them successful. Because I will tell you that and, I, and this, is, this is true from the history of the Bosnian people in St. Louis, both the city and the county. Everywhere the Bosnian community has been, has been made better by the Bosnian people. Everywhere. You know, the neighborhoods, Bosnians move into neighborhoods and the neighborhoods become nicer. You know, they take care of their homes. Sure. They're a very hard working and, and, and you know, they really keep up on their property. They take great pride in the ownership of their property. And that is what we want to see, our whole community wants to see. And I, you know, and I want to be a part of that. And I want to do everything I can to promote that and make Bosnian people even more successful. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So this is very simple. So, uh, like I said, this community is uh, huge. And it's important for us to know who represent us in the South County. So we're talking, for you people just um, uh, tuning in, you know, we're talking about Mr. Steve Stenger, and he is going to be uh, running for a South County, exec South South County Executive and um, this is going to be against Mr. Charlie Dooley and this is the August 5th so we don't have much time right. and it's really important and the other thing what I want to talk about uh, Steve is you know what is it uh, besides Bosnian community what is it uh, what you're going to be your priority uh, in the case of sure. you know well, uh, that hopefully everything right. is going to work perfect. Right. Under the current county executive we've seen a net, over the last 10 years, a net 30,000 jobs leave St. Louis County. Wow. That's a lot of jobs that, that, that left uh, that and have not come back. We have also seen, for the very first time, a population loss. So in other words, over the last 10 years, roughly 10 years, we've seen the population of St. Louis County go down for the first time in its history, which wow. is remarkable and it needs to be reversed and the way to reverse that is to have economic development and to bring in jobs to St. Louis County and there's a number of ways that you can do that but one of the chief ways you can do it is first we need to have a workforce that new companies okay. you know will will be able to interface with and, and utilize we also need to have corporate infrastructure in place and one of the things that I'd give you as an example is high-speed data transmission lines uh, fiber optic cable that has the capacity sure. for high data Much transmission and it's hundreds of times faster than, yes. than what we see now and it's almost the instantaneous uh, instantaneous uh, you know uh, retrieval of data and sending of data so we need to see that those lines here in St. Louis County and this is just an example but if you bury that cable uh, you will find that businesses will pop up all around the cable they pop up like flowers and they do that because they have the ability now to transmit that data. So that's just one example of the infrastructure that we will need in order to attract businesses here. So a top priority is, is job creation, attracting businesses here, and also to improve upon you know, immigration here in St. Louis County. We have a, you know, a wonderful story 
for, for, with Bosnians of sure. coming here, and we need to have other people come as well, and, and other nationalities, and, and people from other countries come as well. And uh, we need to attract those individuals and those families to come here to St. Louis County, and that's another thing that's going to be a very high priority in mind. Okay, Steve. Well, thank you. Thank you for all this information. Is there anything else that we need to know before uh, the August 5th? Like I said, uh, I'm repeating, but please understand. Uh, this is really important. Uh, August 5th, you need to be, uh, if you live in the South County and if you have uh, voting rights, you know, you need to make sure you go out and you vote for the right person because it's really important if you live here to uh, vote for the right person. Yeah. Uh, who are we going to have, you know, behind our back, you know, and making sure that we knock on the door that somebody's going to listen to us so that's the reason why i bring steve today i appreciate it and you know one thing i'd want to say is you know the focus is definitely on south county because that's where we find the highest concentration yes. in the of the bosnian absolutely. community absolutely but, you know the race is is the whole county so anyone in st louis county can vote and that's that's anyone in municipalities in st louis county so okay. so places like fenton Places like Kirkwood, places like Webster, places like you know North St. Louis County, uh, Jennings, and you know all all of the community can both you know South, West, and North, Mid County, everyone can vote as long as you're within the county lines. And the election is going to be Tuesday, August fifth, okay. and I am running against Charlie Dooley, and Charlie Dooley is a Democrat, and so am I. So we're running in the Democratic primary. So when individuals go to their polling place and they're asked, do you want to vote? As a, you know, do you want a Democratic ballot or a Republican ballot? In order to vote for me, you'd have to pick up a Democratic ballot, okay. and then you'll work your way down the ballot, and you'll find the race. It's between Charlie Dooley and me and another right. individual, and uh, I would greatly appreciate votes sure. uh, from, from the Bosnian community and from all St. Louis Countyans. and uh, I just want to thank you for having me. It's really nice. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, so, as I said, uh, August 5th again, one more time. Uh, don't be lazy. Uh, find a place, go and vote. That's, That's right. for everybody. Good. Yeah. So there's 70,000 Bosnians. So if there's only 40 or 50,000 lives in South County, people, please do it for good of all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is uh, Mr. Steve Stenger. Don't forget this name, August 5th. Thank That's you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Thanks a lot. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Appreciate You're it. welcome. Thank you.